Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I just thought I'd come on, I've been doing just a couple of little projects the last few days, just mainly to use up a few of my pages from when I have gutted um, the books that I've picked up from the op shops. And about a week, maybe two weeks ago, I had a big clean up and I threw out my book folded little tea light candle holders uh, they were gross like that I made them six years ago and I still had them <laughs> so it was time for me to make some more um, so these are the ones I've made I just thought I'd show you I've got that I've just the look they're pretty rough I'll tell you that now because my hands were absolutely killing me trying to fold these papers I'm getting too old <laughs> I think so I made a set of three in different sizes just like the last lot I had um, and that's the the big one there the little tea light candle just sits up there so that's all I just wanted to pop on and show you those they turned out so pretty it did take me a while to fold the papers I will admit because my hands my fingers just didn't want to work with me but I think they turned out really lovely and to decorate it I just used a few little bit of bits of scrappy pieces like these petals I had to find three the same color that I had um, I put some crocheted lace around the side with some of this and I've actually forgotten the name of that um, yeah anyway that's it I will just after this I will put up just a short video of how you fold the pages okay thanks everyone you all have a great day and I'll catch you later bye bye okay so I'm just going to show you how to actually do the folds for the the book page candle holders now in your corner I've already started this one here right but if I open up that top page there you'll get a better idea all right so up in the corner up here you cut out two centimeters by two centimeters so that's just the size of the gap that you need for your little battery operated candle holder to fit in okay and then with your folds it is so simple guys and I, they just they just look so gorgeous um, when they're finished you fold you get to that point just up there on that fold and you fold that one there just straight down and then you bring that that part over just make sure that it's even at the bottom and you fold that in half and I just used a, a bone folder just to get some nice crisp edges and then all you do is just fold that over again and just make sure that it's even down here at the bottom okay and then I just press that all down okay so I'll just do it one more time for you so from that point up here up at the top just up there you fold your paper over there and then you bring that over fold the bottom part over there so that it's straight along that bottom edge and then you just fold that over again to the center and just make sure that your bottoms are always even and then you won't have any trouble with it okay so that's as easy as it is Alright, and you just keep going. This is actually um, half a book. Um, I cut the other half off to do another one. So they're going to, you know, look like that when it's opened all the way around. Alright? Okay. I've just popped back on um, just to show you how far I've got just with this one. I've been doing it for, I don't know, I suppose about half an hour out in the lounge room. Um, when I just wanted to let you know that when you do get near the end of your pages it does get a little bit hard harder to
to fold into the center okay so what I normally do is keep my hand there and hold that opened and then slip that one in there like you just do the same normal folds but I, I sort of just push that so that I keep the bottom down here straight and push it in as far as I can because while I'm pulling this part here away from me okay so I just thought I'd come back on and just show you that because it does get a little bit hard but you've just got to like persevere with it okay so you just do your, your normal fold and then I just push it into the center and make sure the bottom straight down there and then just do the same with the last fold into the center all right so there we go and then I just press it down with my bone folder um, a lot of people uh, some people do clip this back but I find that more annoying than anything I'd rather just leave my whole hand here on the side and just work the paper in right to the center as far as you can go okay just like that all right so that's all I just wanted to show you when you got nearer the the back part of it it does get a little bit stubborn at times so you just work it the best way you can all right okay thanks guys